Hello and welcome Links here and today's video is brought to you thanks to my Twitch channel uh, because I was streaming a few visual novels in one night and we'll be having a few videos thanks to that as well. Anywho, if you are into Twitch as well or streaming in general, feel free to go to Twitch, jump there and follow me there as well at twitch.tv slash thepolishlinks. Uh, yeah, let's not limit ourselves to just YouTube. Mm. Stand still, AD Projects present visual novel by Mikey. Might Scientist Art, Audio RQ 1998, Photography Story Production by Mikey is from ATP Projects. Uh, about the, exactly, let's let's have a look. Actually, does is there some description about the game? There is not much. One line: the life of your loved one is at stake. Whoa, we are getting into a serious topic maybe here. Save her. I guess this is what it is about. Uh, give me a second. Quick reply. Just a quick reply. All right, let's get to it. Save her. Let's see. I looked at my watch, which is right here. It was 1.30 p.m. on the dot. Well, just 2.22 in the morning, sure. It was just as he described. Yep. What? What did he describe? Who? A girl was waiting there. Colored hair, um, dark red jacket. Give the money to her. What money? I don't have any money. Come on, man. He said in his instructions. I will do it. Just let my daughter go. Tell me where she is. I'll go there. I recalled my last words before he hang up. Wait, I have a daughter? Pfft. I don't know if I'm ready for such a thing. Am I not too young for that? <laughs> Wait, was she kidnapped? Damn! I mean, I don't think I'm worth having my daughter kidnapped, to be honest. But what else? I had seen a video of Maya, tied up with a tape. Yikes. She, do, she looked not to be physically injured, but her eyes and body language were expressing how terrified she was. I mean, understandable. Dude, if especially now in certain countries. As I approached the girl, I realized I didn't know what to say. Do I say hello? Will the kidnappers get upset if I act impolitely? What will she do? Should I ask? I do not want to do anything to upset anyone. But I... really had no plan. I drew comfort from how nervous she seemed. The, the way she looked at me. He must have described me to her. Because she asked what I would be wearing and how I looked. Tarot? <laughs> this is for Igor, right? I think it's, you know, whatever. As, oh, it was me saying that, okay. This is for Igor, right? I said barely able to stand, hinting at the back in my hand. Yes, thank you. He told me you would come. She said, much to my relief. Me. Whoop. Let's put some. Actually, let's go lighter. Yeah, maybe too light. Even for she matched the description, and there was no one already around. It was still reassuring to know that I was with the right person. Now that I think about it, it's so rare lately. 
to have the text of your visual novel like not at the bottom. It's so rare. That's all I have. It's everything. He knows. You can count. I said trying to make it absolutely clear that I did exactly what I was asked. Thank you. She said, considerably more nervous than I would imagine a kidnapper would be. I'd assume she wasn't the kidnapper herself, but she was working with him. Or maybe there were even more people involved. I handed her the bag and she took it. And... She kept standing still. So did I, apparently, I think. It's really everything. I did everything you asked. I said with my voice shaking. <laughs> my hands as well. <laughs> anyway. She looked at me and nodded slightly to acknowledge she understood what I was saying. It meant she also knew that there was nothing else for me to do. So... So it would follow that she'd have to make the next move? Can I see her? Like, go to her? What do I do now? I mean, it's not like I have experience in situations like that. <laughs> I asked immediately, regretting the questions. Realizing it would look like I was trying to force something. And there was not the impression that I wanted to give. Sorry, I just... I, I, I mean, I just want I, her... I just want her... I, I will do what you say. I quickly took back what I have said. Her face. I couldn't quite read it. Was it... It looked like she was very uneasy. But I would still assume that of an accomplice. Regardless what, of the fact that I had no power in this situation. It was still tense, but... She was... She seemed to be... I was told to wait. She said suddenly. To wait. For a call, for instructions. So they were observing us and would call her with further steps or... But... Did that make sense? Would they not have prepared this already? Would there not be some plan in place? Should she not just take the money and, like, go? But then she would know. She would know who to say, Wait he, and we'll send your daughter to you, or something similar. I don't know how much things, how such things were usually arranged, but it couldn't have been much different. They want the money. Actually, I don't know if you can hear this stuff, but because there, there are birds in the background. Now maybe you will hear that. They want the money. Even if they would not keep their promise, they could still take the money and disappear. Is she alright? I asked in as in an as non threatening a voice as I could. This whole situation didn't make sense to me, but I didn't care. I just wanted Maya back. Uh, uh, I don't know who she is. Uh, I was sent here to pick something. She said, and realized she was probably a kind of intermediary. Someone who just does something without knowing the full context. Pick up the... She was trying to say the words money or bag. Or maybe she didn't know what I would give her. But... I will... I will stay here. I wasn't otherwise either, so I hope. Yeah, it's okay, I hope. I'm just doing what I was told. She said, almost to relieve her tension. The thought immediately occurred to me that she may not have known what this was about. 
that she would be picking up Ransom. But... In that case... Would it be even more important for the kidnapper to quickly call her and tell her what to do? She has the money in her hand. What are they waiting for? I don't... I meant to say I didn't judge anything she was doing. Especially since I felt like she was probably doing this to repay some kind of debt herself. I just want her back. But all I want... I repeat it because it was the only thing that mattered to me. Yes, hi. She said with uncertainty in her voice. She probably also didn't know how much she could share and whether she could even talk to me. But this was exactly the sort of situation that would arise if I didn't call her with instructions. She looked at her phone and put it away. I assumed that she wanted to see if she had missed anything. Perhaps her phone had been set to silent? But it didn't seem so. Almost reflexively, I also checked my phone to see if the kid numbers possibly didn't reach her. And, wow, my phone is going wild. And they're trying to reach me. Well, maybe my phone was on silent. Mine wasn't. It wasn't. No one was trying to contact me either. In the game. <laughs> maybe you could contact him, send a message, or should I... I said even for in the moment, it sounded quite ridiculous. It was almost like a joke, an awkward moment. Maybe even seeming it was making light of the situation. My daughter's safety was at stake and I was given explicit instructions to wait. So I should wait and not ask questions. But somehow, who was to say I didn't miss something? Maybe he told me to call him when I was here. And I was so nervous I completely missed him saying it. Or maybe she was in a similarly stressful situation and has missed some information. How else could this be explained? Just... Just to... You know, I just want to know if Maya is safe. I quickly added. I did mean to ask her if she knew anything, but like... Some of my thoughts before it felt like I'd be prying. And I absolutely shouldn't be doing anything that wasn't explicitly allowed. I just... I... I was told to wait, I don't want to... Oh yeah, I understand, yeah, of course, of course. I said quickly to acknowledge her position. For all I knew, she could be in a highly vulnerable position as well. It was clear she was very uncomfortable, but maybe she was also being blackmailed or threatened. How do I read from the two screens, right? Magic. And if someone was watching us from afar, across the lake maybe, with binoculars. And they saw us speaking. I just didn't want anything to happen to Maya. So we stayed silent. Standing still. Just like that. Just like that. Um, I glanced at my watch again. <laughs> 15 minutes passed since I arrived on time. I reassured myself that I did great, did get the time right, right? right? Yeah. And the fact that she was here confirmed that I indeed came to the right place at the right time. I think. I saw her pick up the phone, dialing someone. Nothing. She ended the call and I guess sure whether I should try. She nodded. Nothing. Not that meant anything. He could still be here observing us. Or he left his phone or dropped it and broke it. It's unlikely but not impossible. And maybe he's run into some traffic or had some other delay and couldn't reach either one of us, right? So we should just be here and wait. It 
20 minutes past. I tried not to think about anything, but it was there excruciating. Any thought of any harm coming to Maya, I tried to chase away. Looking at the autumn colors, trying to remember what we learned in elementary schools. Schools? School. Why leaves turn yellow in autumn? And also, the lake looked very, very, very cold. How many degrees could it be? I wish it was colder. Dude, it's so hot. This summer... Actually, this summer is not so bad, but it's still freaking hot. Also, like, today went running. I thought I would, like, freaking collapse. It was so ridiculous. The air is so bad. After, like, hot days. I think it was, like, over 30 for sure. I do remember seeing on the thermometer that it's technically on a balcony. Uh, and in the sun it was supposedly 53. Don't know how accurate that thing is, but still 53, that's kinda... Whew, crazy. Why is she crying? I saw tears running down the girl's face. I was now almost certain she indeed was in a difficult situation herself. And that she was not here of her own accord. But I felt no empathy for her, because my entire emotional energy was spent battling my own fear. However, increasingly the illogical nature of our situation was piercing through. I was angry at this, because I did want to fully respect the bargain I made. Oh boy. Now that I think about it. The title of the game, Stand Still. Oh boy. And the position I was in. I should not even be questioning the situation. The kidnapper told us to wait and we should wait. It is that simple. And yet. It was more and more overwhelming. Why were we kept in this state? Was this some kind of cruel joke? Was someone trying to pay me back for something I did by torturing me like this? And was she an actress? Nothing really seemed to be plausible. I did fear, of course, that they were not even after the money. And that they just wanted to hurt Maya and me for some reason. And so they are now long gone with her and they used both me and this messenger girl. And left us here to buy them some time. So the longer I waited, the more difficult it would be to catch them. But even in that situation, they could have just set the hand over to a later time. We were still standing there, waiting. The girl already wiped her tears and tried to call someone again. And I had to assume it was the kidnapper. Who else? She looked at me and she shook her head. Her face looked resigned. I, d I don't know. I don't know where to take this. She said suddenly, looking at the back with the money. Or what to do? Where to go now? I'm... She broke down in tears again. I'm afraid to go home. I'm afraid to upset him. I was told to... To get something from you or a person like you and wait. So I have to wait. I have to wait. She said through the tears. Hmm. I observed for a second time, consciously, that I did not empathize. I normally do, but I truly didn't care for her situation, man. I feel bad about saying that line, to be honest. <laughs> she may have had it even worse. For all I know, her family is also being threatened, or worse. But all I care about is Maya. And all I'm interested in is information that could help get her back. And I needed this girl to deliver on her part as well. 
If this girl suddenly did something unexpected, it would put Maya into even more danger. I'm sorry. I said to express I understood the difficulty of her position. I want to be polite. But not in any way hin uh, hint that I was ready to act contrary to the kidnapper's instructions, which kind of makes sense, I guess. In case this was some kind of test. I really... I really only had Maya on my mind. And I tried to do everything to maximize her chances of getting out of this unharmed. Makes sense. I used my phone to try to contact the kidnapper again. I was still unsure whether we calling the first time was already going against the instructions. And if I could, I would take it back and not call. But we did once. And he picked up. I would apologize immediately. And now that I think about it. If he picked up, that means he could have called himself anyway. So calling was a bad idea. I barely failed this test. If this was something like that. So then. My only hope was. That this wasn't test and something technical prevented him from telling us what to do next. Maybe he lost his phone. Did I already say it? I think I said it already. And by ringing there is a higher chance of him finding it. After 20 minutes. Two people standing around in the park not talking. Surely that would attract attention. Or at least seem odd to people. Was this... A different type of test? But... Why? It... It makes no sense! The girl said suddenly. Where are you... We're supposed to take it back if he doesn't call? She asked me. Uh, I did it look like she was also at her wit's end. That she would ask almost a desperate question like that. No, I didn't. I was my... I, I mean, my only instruction was to wait. I said. I don't want to get comfortable and do something wrong. Or to be undisciplined to let time do my senses so I tried as best as I could to behave in the same manner as I did when I arrived never to lose any shred of respect for the danger that Maya was in we we I guess we just stand still I said quietly we do we stand still she repeated it was the only thing we could do. Hmm. <laughs> On October 26th, a main suspect was arrested by the officers of the 12th District Police Squad. The man has turned himself in after kidnapping the war colleague of his former girlfriend and demanding a ransom from her father. Additionally, he was threatening one of his previous female acquaintances to assist in exchange. Damn. The change of heart of the kidnapper came about when he realized he was missing his phone on which he had planned to coordinate the handover. Knowing the exchange would fail, he surrendered hurt himself to the officers at 1.25pm local time. The officers dispatched the site of the exchange, found both parties and took the female accomplice in for questioning. The father was reunited with the unharmed daughter later that afternoon. <laughs> Are you... <laughs> wow. Wait, that was based on an actual happening? What the hell? <laughs> That's nuts. That's nuts that something like that could have happened. So the guy literally, yeah, let's kidnap the daughter, get money, and he lost his phone. What a jackass. <laughs> Damn. What a jackass. And then he was like, yeah, I will turn myself in because I lost the phone. <laughs> wow. Dude, you literally knew where the exchange was. Why would he not go there? I mean, 
That's like pro probably the, the simplest of logics. On the other hand, at least he, you know, done a better thing for the humanity and, uh, and turned himself in. Oh, for I imagine... Actually, I don't know how much time he would spend in jail, whatever. Very weird, very weird situation, very weird situation. Uh, anyway, that was standstill. Uh, 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 why not drop it into chat? Here you go. You can find it right here. Uh, and from there you can go to ATP Projects site on each as well and check out the f huge amount of games they have. Uh, if I were to recommend something from that... Mm, it's been a long time, but probably Gaku and Redux. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think there was one more... Aurora Fall, I think. I think that was the one that I would also recommend. Sort of. I think those two were like... The biggest projects. Okay. Uh, we'll switch gears in a moment. And that would be the end for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Again, uh, you know, consider like liking video, subscribing to YouTube, of course, as per usual. That's always super appreciated. But this was made thanks to the fact that I streamed it on Twitch TV. So feel free to follow me there as well. And maybe that way you can participate like in a live stream as well eventually. It's a Twitch TV slash the Polish links. Anyway, hope you have a wonderful day and hopefully I'll see you either in the next video or in the chat on Twitch. Bye bye.